Well, good afternoon. My name is Ian Hughes with you for a few hours here today. We are pleased to welcome into the KBCS studio Seattle's own Abby Kay. Abby comes originally out of Kentucky, and she plays what she calls heart rock. And yeah, I think that's about right. Abby's music is open, at times pastoral, and it finds its center in a place of searching, in a place where the search perhaps is what's important. Her latest album is called Where We Are At, and we're going to check in with her in a few minutes and find out just where she's at. But in the meantime, we're going to listen to Abby and her band live here at KBCS. Abby K. I used to wish if I could choose the perfect job full time I'd spend the hours baking bread while writing countless rhymes But wait, it happened so it seems The gift of time which we all dream Was granted unbeknownst to me As we all face uncertainty Money ain't the only thing that measures my success But don't get super sticky And songs don't pay the rent Songs were meant for me Like the air which we all breathe, they ain't made for free. The need is real, the perfect stretch to reach its goal, rise to success. The taste of dough won't fill the holes, the patience drives, and fearlessness. Thoughts of leaving so enticing Respite from this crazy place Air and sunshine so inviting Takes us to this open space Set out early, 
chase the sunrise, pack our bags and fill the car. Westward bound hills multiply, mountains blur into stars. Mystic falls right before you, bluer skies you hope will last. Tempting thoughts they may guide you, stuck here on deception. Sitting on the driftwood trunk while eagles dive into the lake, counting all the treasures we saw. Was it all a big mistake? Will we reach the other side? Pastures filled with greener grass, spare us from this rocky ride. Hold on tight, this too shall pass. Mystic falls right before you, bluer skies you hope will last. Cloudy days they may blind you, stuck here on deception. Pass a bridge to cross from here to there, stealing stones, a path to share, a bridge of truth from real regret, means to form a great ring set. Oh, I'll be stranded here today, had no magic, can wave all away. Take a left, avoid the right turn. Instinct calls, ignore the signs. Unprepared and badly sunburned. Dodging facts are dangerous climbs. Waking in our beds tomorrow. Sheltering from our storm. Will we squander time we borrow? Evolving towards kinder norms. Mystic falls are for you, bluer skies you hope will last, illusions you will see right through, stuck here on deception pass, will this deception pass? Three KBCS Roots Rock and Soul listening live in the studio to Abby K. Abby has a record called Where We Are At, her latest release, and a great opportunity to see Abby K perform at Slim's Last Chance in Seattle uh, tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday, April 12th, along with just a terrific lineup Garth Reeves, Jim Page. Tecla Waterfield and Steve Alleman and Sean Bates all performing uh, there at the show with Abby Kay. Abby, welcome into the studio. Thank you so much for uh, coming in. It's been a, it's been a, it's, it's just been a, a a little bit of a run here with um, the world as it is, and it's lovely to sit down with you and talk music and hear you play. Well, thank you. It's surreal and amazing to be here. So thank you. It is a little surreal, isn't it? Yeah, the whole thing the whole thing is surreal these days. You have something on your website, which I thought uh, it was so wonderful. I'm just going to read it. A lot about love and life and art tends to be driven by beginnings and endings. Rare is the work that takes aim at the in-between. Talk to us about that, because I think for once uh, that truly does hit your album uh, where we're at right where it's at the in-betweens <laughs> the in-betweens um the the premise of the record um you know a lot a lot we hear in music and in all art um is a lot of music about the the beginnings or the ends and um 
the pandemic brought on a, a different meaning to most people. Everybody had their own experiences. Um, and my, my husband and I were embarking on a big, a big wedding anniversary. And like everything, you know, it was kind of canceled. And you, you, you sit and had so much time um, during those those periods, those weeks, those early months together. And I looked and we looked at that that period of time of, of being together um, is how do you be together when you're in those in-between parts where there is no neatly tied up bow uh, con- beginning it or concluding it, nor is it a messy ending per se. So um, – it was just this period of time where we 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 were learning how to uh, be together at a time of just such great uncertainty, uh, with everything else going on around us. It's interesting when I, w- I was listening to the record again this week in preparation for our our, our interview, talking talking with you. I had first written down reclaiming as a word that had jumped out to me listening to the record. And then I scratched it out and I said, not reclaiming, it's discovering. And and it felt like that was very much the vibe of the the relationship. Not so much a reclamation project, Mm -hmm. but a sort of rediscovering. Like here you are, uh, you know, uh, dare I say, I I, I will include myself in this statement, you know, middle-aged where, you know, children of the early 70s. And, you know, years later, we're in these marriages and we have kids and life kind of moves on. And suddenly you're like, where does the art fit in? And how do the relationships fit in? At least that's, you know, often what I'm hearing uh, throughout this record. And and I sort of uh, also wrote down at one point Raymond Carver, not because the songs are dour or sad, but because like his best stories, they're like snapshots. There is a beginning before the Carver story, and then the, and then the story ends, and there's a, you know, there's a postscript. Neither of which you ever read in his stories, and mm-hmm. I feel like with your songs, uh, there is that, with the exception that with your music there is a tenacity, there is a, there is a resilience to it. Well, yeah, wow, that's a terrific review. Thank you. <laughs> how, how did that? How did that? You know, I, I think the tendency for pandemic records, if I can call it that, because that, that's kind of what we're talking about with all of these new records. So many of them are written there. The, the resiliency and, and the sort of beauty that came, comes out of it is something that's unique to your record that I'm not hearing necessarily in other people's mm. albums written during the same sort of lonesome time. Mm-hmm. Where do you find that inner resiliency? Mm. Well, I, you know, the... There were so in such a a dark period of time um, that we've all that we all experienced, and for the first time, um, the whole world had that in common. Uh, learning to take that that time and find the few silver linings uh, within the darkness, and I seem to be able to pull them out and find them. And one of them is the gift of time. Like I said, like the gift of time. How often do we do we wish we had more time to be forced to stay at home and and do nothing or or do something? Um, in my case, uh, in addition to work and trying to live in a house with multiple people and <laughs> going to school and all the the chaos that that comes with that. Um, you know how do you how do you take that time and take the space and create that space that allows you to process what's going on because it is it is heavy it was a very heavy heavy time um and how do you how do you get through it and in that process do you discover something new about yourself that you didn't know um and i think i did quite a bit especially in in music and I don't typically you know, make albums with my spouse. I, we're, he's not a musician. Uh, he's not a singer. And he is, um, but he's a beautiful writer. 
and he's very passionate about music. We have that in common. So it was kind of a farce and a joke how it all kind of came to fruition, but it was certainly sincere and authentic. Well, I think that's such a thing of beauty. Uh, as I, I had read that you and Brian, your husband, had made this record together, and I thought that was so. Fa- and I was going to ask if he was a musician, and so well, you 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 answered that. That's really wild that uh, the two of you were able to sort of collaborate and be, frankly, so transparent. There's a lot of transparency, I think, and rawness on the record as well, uh, in terms of it. And you know, I I tend not to read too much into it because I feel pretty strongly that songs can also be narratives and, and have their own particular characters that you can explore sure, lots sure. of feelings in. Right. Uh, but I do love that the two of you did that together. And that to me is sort of the ultimate uh, pandemic collaboration. It's like, well, you are stuck in this space, this pod with this person. And, you know, you're choosing creativity. Yeah. It was, you know, there were moments of, of real strong clarity in the process. Um, And then there were other moments where the heaviness of what we were actually living through would completely take over. And how did we morph them into something beautiful? Do you two have some commonalities in terms of the music that each of you love? Was that something that brought you together in the early times where there's some bands or some artists that you both sort of like heart love with each other oh yeah who tom waits yeah and um the jayhawks and wilco (laughs) um just to name a few mom and dad rock (laughs) sorry so you are originally out of kentucky the Mm -hmm. louisville area Mm -hmm. and uh kentucky you know is sort of legendary for the music that has come up and out of that region. Bill Monroe, uh, Loretta Lynn, uh, to name some you know classic country folk. Uh, I think Sturgill Simpson mm-hmm. uh, is out of uh, the Kentucky area. I think Chris Stapleton uh, is out of the Kentucky mm-hmm. area. What is it? What is it with this uh, bluegrass state? <laughs> where, where do you all you know? What's what's growing on down there? Yeah, it's uh you know I haven't lived there in a long time, uh-huh. but. Um, I go and visit and uh, still because my family's there. And just the the richness of of the music that I grew up around, um, I, it's hard to escape. I mean, unless you're plugging your ears, I don't know how, how people don't hear all the great music that goes on a, around in Louisville. Um, I wasn't – I was always interested in music – I didn't always play music and, and play guitar and write songs, um, but I did sing a lot, and I sang all of, you know, all of the country greats are were in my nine-year-old repertoire. <laughs> <laughs> as, they, as they should be. If you're just tuning in, we're talking live here in the KBC, a studio to Abby Kay. Abby Kay has a brand new record called Where We Are At, and you can see her perform selections from that record and perhaps other things on Wednesday, April 12th. That's tomorrow night at Slim's Last Chance in Seattle. Uh, Abby will be joined on stage by just a uh, wild and wonderful mix of Pacific Northwest artists, uh, Tecla Waterfield, Steve Alliment, Seattle Jim Page, uh, Sean Bates, and Garth Reeves. Can we get another song? Oh, absolutely. This is the, uh, this is a song that's, well, it's pretty clear, but I, I like to, I like to title it and preface it that it's about, it's about the digital intimacy that we, some people may or may not have experienced during uh, the last few years. It's called Rectangular Box. When you're stuck at home They're all alone And no one's allowed to go out You can't form a plan past time Best you can Can't take much more of the doubt I open my screen Searching between All the work still expected to do I find a room A 2D sonic boom Full of voices and songs What's to lose 
I'm safe and afar, you can't see my flaws or hear my noises, I'm you when you talk. I'm just a face taking up space in my very own rectangular box. I get to peek week after week from my own little room with a view. I can look in your eyes and you don't realize what might actually uncover the truth. I'm completely aware that I'm enjoying my stare without it even looking so strange. Your voice sounds so clear, makes me wish you were here. Funny feelings I just can't explain. Safe and afar, you can't see my flaws or hear my noises. I'm mute when you talk. I'm just a face taking up space in my very own rectangular box. Then mid-sip into my tea As if I'd found a secret key No way these feelings could just be Only happening to me With someone else's little box Might also be their favorite spot To wash my eyes and not get caught Just a little food for thought How will I greet you when it's time to meet you And we finally share the same space Will I steal a glance, fall back in a trance Running back to my old hiding place Will you be my friend, the one I knew well then Back when it was safe to just gaze silently unsaid I'm sure it's all in my head but I'm hoping that you lead the way I'm safe and afar you can't see my flaws or hear my noises I'm you when you talk I'm just a face taking up space in my very own rectangular square and not triangular free from getting tangled in my very own I'm safe and afar, you can't see my flaws or hear my noises, I'm mute when you talk. I'm just a face taking up space in my very own rectangular box. <laughs> 913 KVCS Roots Rock and Soul. I love that song. A rectangular box. Show of hands. Who who still can't work the mute button on their uh, Zoom <laughs> teams? <laughs> 100%, 100%. Uh, we are talking with uh, Abby Kay. Uh, the new record is called Where We're At. And uh, Abby Kay will be performing at Slim's Last Chance tomorrow night, Wednesday, April 12th, uh, with some selections uh, from this album, I am sure. Uh, I think that um, we're, we're, some of us uh, perhaps are, are all the better for uh, what we came through. And with uh, music like this, that, that's... that's uh, that's where I point my. That's where I point my compass. Well, thank you, Ian. <laughs> thank you so much for your support. Very hey, real support. quick, um, why don't you uh, introduce these uh, lovely, lovely folks here yeah. with you that uh, are so great? Yes, with, with the chord changes. Are, with, they're they're with amazing. The, chord the one chord change. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, um, to my left, uh, for those um, imagining the space, um, mm -hmm. is Jonathan Plum, and Jonathan Plum was actually the producer for the record as well, and. Um, he would give me examples of, you know, backing vocals, and every time he did so, I was like, okay, you're hired, and he just had to end up being on the album. Yeah, she, um, br she brought me out from behind the console. <laughs> Usually I'm not in this role, but it's been really fun. And, um, and then um, over in the corner over there over is the uh, Art Frankel uh, on pedal steel and banjo and guitar, and he can play... Uh, probably just about anything, and uh, super talented um, musician. 
before uh, everybody came in, Art uh, was in here kind of setting up his uh, pedal steel, which takes a minute. Uh, if anyone has ever uh, tried to set up a pedal steel, there was like a blowtorch out at some point and the whole thing. And we had just a wonderful conversation about some of our heroes, uh, Lloyd Green and, uh, you know, and, and Pete Drake and uh, Sneaky Pete, some of the great uh, pedal steel players over the years. So I don't know. We'll have to have Art on sometime and, and really dive deep into the pedal steel guitar. It is... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure partly partly skill, but I think it's mostly magic. That is that is that. Abby Kay, thank you so much for coming in. It has been a delight to talk about your record, and uh, just a delight to to see you. Well, thanks for having me and having us, and you know, just creating a space for artists to come um, and play and and have a talk because that's that's rare. So KVCS and um, just gratitude. That's what we do. We uh, let you play and let you talk. <laughs> 91.3 KBCS. Go check out Abby K and Banda tomorrow night at Slim's Last Chance, uh, along with uh, Jim Page, Garth Reeves, Tecla Waterfield, Steve Allman, and Sean Bates. That's a hell of a lineup. 91.3 KBCS. <laughs> doesn't leave me feeling cold No need for big deals Just a place where feeling feels real regardless of how deep down in the hole A familiar pursuit Like an old worn-in boot Without needing proof or reason to believe Anyway I look, it soothes my vision Anywhere I go will be my mission Anytime I speak, I will listen Cause the dark inside of me, I don't see anymore Journeys get lost Burning bridges can't cross Feeling empty, needing outlets to feel cleansed It starts from a sea Like a habit I feel Molding into a person able and willing to bend I'll take it and run Nothing plus nothing is none Why doubt a chance that hasn't even begun Anyway I look, it soothes my vision Anywhere I go will be my mission Anytime I speak, I will listen Cause the dark inside of me, I don't see anymore I don't see